All right, man. So the Detroit Lions consider picking up OJ Howard, Ellis Leatherwood, and a couple others. Let's talk about it. Check out the Detroit Lions talk playlist. Uh, thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance of notifications. And they sign like uh, they got like four tight ends on the roster, um, at least according to the depth chart. So um, that's good. That's going to be interesting. That's going to be real interesting, to be honest. But, um, but yeah, they can always cut some of these dudes and whatever going on with O.J. Howard. A lot of Lions fans were very interested in O.J. Howard coming out in the 2017 draft. We eventually did end up picking Jared Davis, so it, it was trash. I have you cut the cake, to be honest. Um, <laughs> it wasn't a good draft pick. Obviously, T.J. Watt was the most obvious draft pick, and – Second round pick wasn't good, but yeah, he was a hot commodity, especially when he run one that four, um, and he ran that four five one. But um, whatever reason, I thought when Tom Brady got there that this thing really, really would work out. And that's what I thought for him, and it didn't. So I don't I like understand really understand like what went wrong with um, OJ Howard. He is from Prattville, Alabama. Child to Prattville, I used to be out there when I lived in Montgomery. Um, and with the Alabama, so I, I don't really understand, um, you know, what happened. But I mean, he's only 27 years old, and you know, usually when players like him um, are going through what they're going through, Detroit is really not the place for a revival. Um, but I mean, at the end of the day, you got to believe in you changing the culture. And I mean, obviously, you owe, you know, you owe it to yourself to, you know, we owe it to ourselves to, you know, at least go out there. And you know, give them a workout. So, um, so I, I wouldn't be mad at it. Uh, it's a high high reward, low risk, high reward uh, type of scenario. Um, and you know, you 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 just you look at the physical God given ability. You say, man, why ain't this working? You know, and you would like to get in the room with him and. and and see what's going on there. There's a physical limitation in Buffalo, man. They really can use a weapon like that. Now, Dawson Knox is their guy. You know, he is their guy. No doubt about it. He is their guy. But, uh, but, but yeah, I mean, I don't like, you know, obviously you need a good blocking tight end behind Hawkinson as well. Um, Obviously, Devin Funches was one of those uh, athletic guys who switched a receiver to tight end. Um, you know, uh, that they were they were considering um that didn't work out. So obviously they in there for an athletic tight end. They really like James Mitchell. He healthy enough. He healthy enough to make the active roster without being on a physically unable to perform list. Um, you know, um, so uh, and he posed be a nice a athletic tight end as well. Two out of Virginia Tech towards ACL early in a season last year, um, but. It's going to be interesting, you know. Um, it's going to be real, real interesting. But, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind bringing in uh, O.J. Howard for sure. Um, I wouldn't mind it. So, uh, but, you know, you know, is it what you need or what, or what they – or is it what they need or is it what they, uh, they looking for is the uh, million-dollar question. But uh, let's see if they got this free agency updated yet. And we can go uh, through the list of people. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't think they have it updated, updated yet. Oh, yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, they do. So, here we go. So we're going to do this by position and need. We're going to look at the little bit of everything that's that's available real quick. Got yeah, my face looking hella oily on here, man. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. So, I mean, you got some some real quick. D4, Nate Sullinger, Trey Wayne, some Michigan State guy, Jason Pierpaul, Joe Hayden, uh, J.C. Tratter, uh Brandon Williams, Fitzpatrick. So obviously we need a quarterback. Well, you know, um, back up. So I mean, really nothing there. I mean, uh, Kellen Mom, he got cut. I think that shit. 
Joe John, Josh Johnson's already been on the line. Lions, he athletic. Jeff Driscoll, he was on the Lions already. Cooper Rush talks about him. Josh Rosen. So I don't really see much other than Posse bringing in Brandon Peters right there, former Michigan uh, quarterback. Um, I don't see much there other than uh, maybe Mike Glennon. I mean, Cam Newton, Josh Johnson, or uh, possibly Ryan Fitzpatrick. He thrives in those roles. So then you continue to go on and um, on the left tackle, you say, well, Nate Soldier, they don't uh, have they don't have Alex Leatherwood yet. So I mean, you know, I, if it's somebody like Leatherwood, I take a uh, I take a flyer on it. And I don't think they really need much at in. Uh, Devin Carnard, he got cut yesterday. So I got some guys coming off in that's gonna be healthy, but defensive tackle, they do need some help there. Uh, Brandon Williams from Baltimore, he's been there for a while. Star Layla Wood, too. He's a good, you know, run stopper. They need more of a pass rusher. Obviously, Malcolm John, uh, Brown didn't work out. Malik Jackson, he older. But somebody you look at, obviously, they're going to bring back uh, Dominic and Sue. Um, Gerald McCoy coming off a major injury. So, um, so not a, not a lot there. Um, but you got some good run stoppers there. Lindsay Joseph, Star Layla Wood, too. Laylu. Uh, Brandon uh, Williams from uh, from Baltimore. So you got some good run stoppers there, too. And then also Baltimore let go Tony Jefferson, too. And a lot of Baltimore Ravens fans didn't like that and said he was pretty much the best steal, especially after seeing Kyle Hamilton getting smoked the way he been getting smoked in uh, preseason ball and in practice. So I understand their frustration there, but you got to be patient and trust the process. Um, so, yeah, then you say, well, linebacker, uh, what's going on there? Um you know, uh, you say, well, you need somebody more that's going to be a cover. I guess you can look at somebody like A.J. Klein. Uh, not much there. Uh, you know, we talked about the kind of some of these dudes already. So it's not much really there. Um, you know, Alex Ogletree was my pick. So, you know, and this will continue to get updated. And other than that, that's pretty much it, you know, that you're looking like they have glaring needs out there. So uh, Tony Jefferson also got cut. So all this will be kind of updated. So, I mean, it is what it is, man. O.J. Howard would be nice, but uh, I won't mind that. Or Tony Jefferson coming in, um, providing some relief as well, too. Um, let's see real quick. Uh, let's see. So, uh Josh Gordon, I don't really think that helps. Um, and it's past 4 p.m., obviously, when y'all be seeing this video. So uh, Josh Gordon, uh, Alex Leatherwood, the tackle from 2021 draft. Uh, Marlon Mack was cut. We are good at running back. Helen Mom got cut. Um, so, so, yeah, those were the biggest ones. So O.J. Howard, Alex Leatherwood, I wouldn't mind it. But, um, yeah, just, just, just off, you know. Taylor Decker, he always jumping off. You know, he always doing getting penalties and all that stuff. But, hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Anybody out there that you girls and guys want, let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. That subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance notifications. Uh, check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist for more videos like this. Um, other than that, um, what else do we have here? Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Only three ways you can reach out to me. Uh, follow me on Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. All in the link tree, which is the first link in the description. Appreciate the love support. Check out Detroit Lines to our players for more videos like this. Peace.